Hey, this is just practical, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good evening and welcome you all to Bull TV's coverage of the UBA. Currently on lanes 13 through 16, we have two tag team matches going on. On 13 and 14, we have this, this for, the, for the South, for the UBA South, we have the Vixens Tag Team Championship. And we have the pleasure of crowning the very first Vixens Tag Team Champs from the South. They just started a Vixens uh, Tag Team Division. So we'll be crowning our inaugural Tag Team Champions for the South coming up tonight. And for our bowlers for tonight, like I said, we got about four minutes of practice left. For Carolina Swag, we have Sheena Jones. She goes by the UBA nickname Pretty Girl Swag. And her teammate for tonight is Roxy Hayes. And she goes by the UBA name Sugar Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yes, sir. And for the Savages, the one and only the South Vixens champ herself, trying to become the South Vixens champ and the so and a member of the South Tag Team champ. We have the one and only Daphne Smith, a UBA nickname, the jersey she's wearing today. The one, the one, the one y'all want to be, and her partner, the one and only Megan Brookie. Yes, Megan Brookie rounds with sugar yeah. cookie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah. And, and she has, she has a very cute, innocent UBA nickname. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. That's what we like. <laughs> we, like we love the awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Yeah. So, yep, this is these ladies. They fought their way. They fought their way to the top to be bowling for the Vixens Tag Team Championship. And we will have our very first Vixens Tag Team Champion crowned here tonight, walking away with the belts and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, walking away with belts and walking away with a little bit of cash. Yeah. Um, yeah, this all started uh, back in January. We started okay. with uh, 16 teams, and we worked this way. We had the qualifier cut us to eight. Then we had one uh, heads-up matches in February. Okay. And then uh, last night we had our final four that nice. led us that led us to today. Very and, nice. And got beautiful uh, new championship belts for them. Okay. So that's right. Somebody is going to walk away with a nice. Nice, new, shiny, first time ever mm -hmm. Vixens Tag Team Championship belt. Yep. And Daphne could be walking out of here with two belts. Yeah, she, she gets, could have two new belts in the same weekend. That's it. Yep. That's it. Yep. Over on 15 and 16, this is more of a, a we, don't, we, do, we do not have a tag team world champion. No. Nope. So what we're having here at Mega Bowl is the North Tag team champions are bowling against the South tag team champions for a little little bit of money. Yeah, a little bit. They got a little, little bit, bit of money little, coming. A little bit of money mm -hmm. and a little bit of uh, bragging rights. All right. Yep. We got the, oh, yeah. the North champs, the North t uncapped champs are from Class X. That's with an X, A X E. Okay. Class X. We got Brian Walter and Chris Fawcett, yep. spelt like Farrah Fawcett. Okay. And, okay. And a little trivia. He is a second cousin to Farrow Fawcett. His father okay. is Farrow Fawcett's cousin. I was just—I was going to ask you if there was actually a relation in there uh, somewhere. I, so that's I, pretty good. There you go. That's what he said. Yeah. He could have been lying, and I, you know, but I'm not—I'm we'll, not here to judge or question. No, we'll go with it. We'll go with I, it. I go with yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we got Brian Walton and Chris Fawcett. Brian Walton goes by the UBA nickname. It's that time. Chris Fawcett goes by Beast Mode. So he better perform. Mm -hmm. Substantially today. Yeah, he, that's he a big name be, to live up to. You can't be beast mode and you know, yeah, you not, and not be stiff arming. Nah, nah, nah. No, nah, right? you can't. The South Champs. Yep. I know that's your neck of the woods, but oh. I got all the information. Okay, go the for South it. South Champs. Yep. We got the one and only. Wait, I'm sorry, from the from the G Town heavy hitters. And as you can see, they've got their name for a reason. Mm -hmm. All right, there's some heavy hitters on the lanes. Yep. And you do not 
want to invite them to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Nah, there's some big boys. There's some big boys there's on that some, side of town. Big boys on that side of town. We got we got we got one and only Jack Ness, yep. aka UBA nickname goes by the Monster. Yep. And we got the one and only Matt Martin. Jersey he's got on today. He's a storm staffer. Yep. That should be self-explanatory. Yep. Yep. And we and and obviously uh, we appreciate the storm sponsorship that we uh, that we received from them. Uh, okay. Storm has always been great to us and. And, and they have a number of uh, staffers, uh, just like Matt, uh, just like we got Daphne and the other one that uh, yeah. represent their product very well. And uh, we're, we're honored to be able to put on that show for them today as well. That's right. Hey, listen, practice, practice go, go is over. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're about to, about to make go, it happen. Southeast. North versus the South. You hear the no you hear the noise. You hear the noise. There are other matches going on as well. Practice is over, and the next ball you see will count for score. The beast mode starting it off. Oh, okay, okay. A little high, a little high. The beast mode leaves a, beast mode leaves a four pin in the first frame. Oh, sugar cookie with a nice, nice first ball. Yeah, so these girls have um, we've got the pleasure of knowing a lot of these girls now, and they are very nervous. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah, very, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, very, very nervous, uh, both Roxy and Sheena. This is a, uh, uh, they, they, they're in, the, in that kind of a, uh, they don't want to look at the camera. They don't want to look at us sitting here. They, they want to tune us out the best they can. They, they're they're ready to sit, to be sick, you know. They even said yesterday when I told them we were going to be broadcasting their match yesterday, um, they had even talked about that they, they were gonna they were gonna uh, uh, go to the bathroom on themselves. <laughs> and I told them just wear dark pants, but then don't touch me, you know. So uh, these girls are gonna be uh, be good to watch for sure. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, it is, listen, if they're anything like me, sometimes. My nerves, I mean, you got to shake them off eventually, but mm -hmm. if you let your mechanics take over and you've been bowling long enough, a lot of, none of these people, I mean, some of them could be, but from my experience of who, the people I know here, none of them have just started bowling, been bowling a year or two, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? They've, they've all got a certain amount of bowling experience under their belt. They've been bowling leagues for years. Mm -hmm. They've been in pressure situations. They just have to transform uh, what they have inside of themselves, how they bowl in those pressure situations during lead, mm -hmm. they got to bring it to the lanes here today. Yeah. And, you know, forget about the cameras. And that's the beauty of bowling. And it's what I try to do. I bowl in some pressure situations in the UBA. And once you're facing the pins, you really have to try to forget about everything that's behind you. Yep. You get up there, you talk to yourself, you take a deep breath, and let your mechanics take over and execute. Count your steps, get yep. to the bottom of your swing, you hit it, and hope for the best. Yeah, it comes it comes down to muscle memory. Yes. You know, you, you know what to do when you start Indeed walking. It does. And and they just gotta do that and they're and they're gonna execute. Okay. Now the, the one thing I would like to say about the savages though is so Megan is that's not the partner that, that started this journey with Daphne. Oh, okay. So um Megan's first time on any UBA anything was yesterday. <laughs> okay. So um, she's only been bowling for about two years now. Okay. Um, but this is like, we, she hasn't bowled at a tour stop yet. She hasn't bowled at an event yet. She hasn't done any of that kind of stuff yet. Um, so this is all new to her. So okay. if anybody should have been really overwhelmed yesterday, it's, it's you, her. It would be her. And, yep. she, and she rose to the occasion. She and did. that's what happened. Yep. You yep. just saw that beast mode, beast mode living up to his name with a beautiful strike in the second frame. Yeah, when we were going through picking the matches that we wanted to stream uh, for our for our partners at Bowl TV, we wanted to make sure that they got this match. Okay. Because 
Uh, definitely in the South, uh, Jack Ness and Matt Martin are, you know, you could put them in the top five, top ten, who, you know, they are both great bowlers. Jack's one of the best lefties around uh, by far. And so there's going to be a lot of strikes. Okay. They're going to have a lot of strikes over here. As long as soon as they get the lanes figured out, it's going to be strike fest. Okay. And be and, and probably be a carry contest at Listen, some point. And it, it should be a fun match to watch. Mm -hmm. What also comes into play, because both of these matches that you're watching right now are tag teams. Mm -hmm. And it's not Bakers. The UVA tag team format is... You have to, you have to, the, whoever starts the match has to bowl the first three frames. Yep. Unless they've changed some of the rules since mm -hmm. I was tag team champ, and you can no, feel I, free to correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I got but you. you have to bowl the first three frames. Yep. Then you can start tagging. Yep. You don't have to start tagging then. Nope. But that is, you can't start tagging until the fourth frame. Mm -hmm. You have to make four tags. Yes. And whoever starts the game, has to finish. It. They, they have to throw the last ball. Okay. Yep, they, have to, they have to throw the last ball. And, that, and that's the main thing, oh, like you said. Oh, sugar cookie with a sugar cookie with a beautiful, beautiful shot in the third frame. Yeah, that, that's the main thing I tell people when they ask me about getting in the series is the first, whoever starts has to bowl three frames, and they have to finish, and you got to have four tags in the middle. And if you can nail it, that's 80% of it right there. Then the rest is the strategy that comes in, when to tag. You know, if you've got a lefty and they leave a seven pin, maybe you tag your righty in, let your righty shoot the seven pin. It's all about knowing your partner and going from there. Yeah. Uh, ring and 10 there for Daphne. A ring and 10 pin for Daphne. She's probably, she's probably a little jelly on by now. She's bowled a lot this weekend. She has. She's bowled 11 games already today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she just uh, just knocked off the Northeast Vixens uh, champ. They were they had a match for uh, four hundred dollars. That uh, they were able to, uh, go, it went seven. You know, it it Daphne got up three one. Terry got it back to to a game seven situation, but Daphne was able to hold her off. Yeah, yes she did. Yes she did. She threw some big shots and mm -hmm. some big strikes when she needed them most. Yeah. Got a relatively nice easy spare for the monster, and he cleans it up. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've, I've bowled both singles and tag team in uh, in WCS, and I and I honestly enjoyed the tag team part more. I enjoyed the strategy. I enjoyed having that that the extra set of eyes with you all the time. Whether you're in a situation where you have an audience or you don't, you know, having somebody that can see something that you don't makes a huge difference. Oh, yeah, I I, I get you. I get you on that. That's exactly how it should be. Very nice shot. Very nice shot by Daphne. Oh, this guy from Class Act just threw a nice one. Old Beast Mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Chris Fawcett. He's uh, okay. he's he's actually buried every other shot. Okay. Sugar cookie. Oh, okay. A little high. She leaves a four pin. Oh no, she actually has an eight pin. Okay. All right, let's see if Beast Mode can get their first double here on lane 16. Oh, no. Stone's a nine pin. Mm. Sugar Cookie lays it down. Nice, easy spare made. Both matches, female matches, dead even. The guys are two pins apart through three. Yeah, yeah they're still in that in that early feeling yeah. each other out kind of a thing. Yes, they are. Oh, oh! The ball went very, very high. Mm -hmm. Could have been, could have caught a bad break, but she just leaves a ten pin. Yep. Oh, the monster. Oh, the monster. Oh, got, the, got the 10 out there. That's yeah, good. he got the 10 out there. That was that was, yeah. that was was looking bad at the yep. start. All right. So now we're going to get to see our storm staffer, Matt Martin. Oh, I should have cooked tried to clean up. Ooh. Oh, she flags a 10 pin early. Okay. Matt with the spare.
Daphne tries to capitalize on the open frame they just got. Oh, she straightens that up a bit. Mm. A little 10 pin there for Daphne to clean up. She's throwing that, uh, that Ruby Emerald, I believe it is. Okay. Um, she, she threw that uh, a number of times uh, earlier on one and two when she was bowling the, uh, the, the singles Vixens match. Okay. Got that. That's plastic. Oh. Oh. oh, that didn't look that good. You know what? No one seems very comfortable yet. I no. mean, it's, you know, I, I know it takes some, you know, some warming up. You know, you have 10 minutes of practice, and sometimes that's not enough to, to yep. get as loose as you want to be. Yeah, they got they got down here. Uh, most of them drove in today. They didn't bowl in any of the other events, and you know they they had a, a rest when they got here because um, the last squad ran a little long uh, here at Mega Bowl, and so we got started here a little late. So they got some nerves, some anxiety. You know they want to put a show on and and uh, do their work because they. I'm I would safe to say there's some bets and some money. Um, on the line here, outside the the thousand dollars are actually bowling for as a team. Like. All right, Sheena's first look. Strike. Oh, there you go. So yesterday, Sheena was the most nervous. Their 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 final four match went uh, to game five uh, because in game four um, she opened. Now and the final four was best three out of five. No, it was, was out of seven. It was out of seven. Yeah, it was it was out of seven. They 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 got, they got up uh, three zero real quick, and um, they needed to. She needed to strike on her last ball in the tenth, and because she started that game, so that was where she had to come in and throw that last ball. Okay. And if she would have struck. Um, they would have won, or a nine count, they actually would have won. Eight would have been a tie. She's seven. Ooh. Ooh. So then it went to game five. Let's see. Okay, look at Gina. Okay. All right. Very nice. So she got a lot less nerves than she had yesterday. Jack Ness back in. Ooh. Mm. Megan Brookie steps up in the seventh frame. Mm. Trying to maintain this 12 pin lead. That looks good. Oh. Oh. Might have been a hair high in yeah. order to lead that four pin. And see, yesterday, one of the things is they had, the, like, the guys that are bowling for G-Town now, um, they're all, they bowl leagues and stuff together. So they were able to support Savages and, and kind of help, you know, Megan with adjustments and things like that. But um, Nick Smith's not here yet. Yeah. He was bowling at the other center. He'll be here to help at some point with adjustments and stuff that she needs. Um, you know, Daphne will be trying to help as well. Uh, but the G-Town folks were instrumental yesterday in helping get them straight. But... They're bowling and their and their fan clubs cheering for them. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Yeah. Megan picks up a easy four pin. Yeah. Daphne's gonna step up in the eighth frame. Yeah. Yeah. But right now, if Carolina uh, Swag can strike in the eighth. They can cut it to a two pin lead and actually take the lead if they strike eight and nine. Mm -hmm. Definitely took the four pin. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. little uh -oh. crotch chop. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Oh, okay.
Ooh, that's got to go. Oh. Oh. oh, look at that turkey. Uh, turkey from Sheena. That's right. All right. But Roxy got to get back up now. Yep. Roll it. No, it did not roll over to the get the 10 out for, for Matt. Yeah. Got to go. Mm. Okay. That's a four okay. bagger. That's four a four bagger. bagger for Carolina Swag. Yeah. Breaking out, breaking out the hand bone. Yep. Right now, right now, after that last strike, Carolina Swag has managed to develop an eight-pin lead in this mm -hmm. match. You know, they control their own destiny. They can strike out, and they cannot lose if they strike out. That's right. That's a big shot here for Megan. Megan mm -hmm. definitely needs to strike here to maintain. If it holds, Got it. it's good. Oh, no, ran no. a little bit. Ran a little bit. Yeah. Ran a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, she got the, she got the slower ball speed of the ball speed of the four ladies. Yes, definitely. And you know when I said it was good, it looked good, but it, you know for hell I forgot that she throws it so slow that um, it yeah. came up high there. So, so she get this spare here and have them a chance to win this game. Okay, she, oh, she, she got it. She cleaned up the spare with a knife, but uh, they got a Dutch two hundred going right now. All right, so yeah, Daphne's gonna close it out. Um, all they can get to is two ten. Yeah, Daphne can strike out for two ten. And and Carolina Swag can strike out for two thirty eight. So we're looking at that. And oh, and Daphne leaves the ten pin. So this heavyweight match, this got bad uh, for Southeast uh, for G Town. They opened in the tenth. Yes, that is, is is yeah. That's 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 yeah. For, I, I for kinda, guys of this of this caliber, for bowlers of this caliber, mm -hmm. it's almost like watching a pro bowler miss a five pin. Yeah, and, I, and I, he missed something on the right side, and, uh -huh. and Jack's a lefty. He shouldn't have missed nothing on the on the on the, on the right side there. All. But uh, he needed that. He needed to strike out to win. Yeah. So. Yep. So that, so. The South, even with opening in the tenth, they can, they they still have won the first game. Yeah. They can't lose. Yeah. And, and maybe maybe class acts was just surprised that they had a chance because you know the best they were going to be able to do was 203 and if uh, Jack makes that spare in the 10th you know it, it's pretty much it's it, over it's over you know but once you know what but, but you know I hear you but you can't you can't even think I don't think like that if I, I'm watching the game yeah I know mathematically I could be eliminated but once you open it up and give me the chance now it's time to take advantage of that yeah Jackie throws up fill ball and ooh, a little high four pin yeah and this game is all but over. Yeah, we just, is barring a, a barring, disaster here. Yeah, barring some horrible, horrible break. But she, yeah, she got that one in the same spot. It's going to hook a lot. Mm. Okay. Yep. Now that's enough. Yes, it that's is. She basically just had to keep her on the lane. She did that. Yeah, she just did. So, so C-Swag going to go up 1-0. Yep. That. Of the four of the four teams bowling here, the team with the two people that were the most nervous, mm -hmm. the only team to shoot 200. Yeah, and we got four guys over here that average over 230. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, these, these, you know are, these are all hitters. Yeah, you know, and it's just you know the the nerves. You know, there's a lot of money they all have on. I've seen pay, uh, posts online, a lot of betting going on here. Um, same thing. I was surprised. There's, there's probably close to a thousand dollars. Probably close to a thousand dollars in bets just on this Vixens tag match too out there. So mm, yeah, I'm uh, sure. I'm sure. You know, but the, the, the beauty of it is, 
that really won't add to the pressure of the ladies because mm -mm. I mean they're probably aware of their their friends and family are maybe betting on them, but yep. they they ain't betting them. They ain't, they're not putting up that kind of money. So mm -mm. no, they're, they're doing it, and it's, it's usually the people that come up to and say, "Hey, just let you know, I got three hundred dollars on you." You know that. Like, why would you tell me that? Yeah, Leave just me you know, let me if you want me to win you that money, go away. Exactly. You know? So Swag was able to win a game that Daphne started. Yes. And coming in, they had to make sure that they won the three games that Megan started. Mm -hmm. And but there are so they've already won the one game they needed to with Daphne starting and bowling the most. Mm. So now two, four, and six. If we get to a six, Megan's gonna have to bowl the most or bowl more than she normally would. Daphne's yes. still gonna bowl the more frames, you know. But yeah. we talk about the jelly arm part too, where she's bowled a lot. All right, spare from Megan. I love it. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, more problems for Class Act. Yeah. Another 10 pin flag. Yeah, I mean, you see these North guys more than me. Are they, they still just nervous? I couldn't, I listen, right now, I couldn't tell you, you know, they, they had their, they, listen, they had their, they had their game faces on pre-game, I chit-chatted with them, got a little bit of information from them, so they, 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 mentally, they sounded like they were ready, but, you know, you can talk all the trash you want, and, 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 you know, you can say just about anything. So the lights go on you have to have to throw that ball now you have to perform Yeah, both of these two uh, starting here, game two, are, are both of the lesser average uh, females on their on their teams. Mm -hmm. on their so there's a little bit of pressure on them just to kind of get get to the get to their hitter, so to speak. The guys on the floor seem to be a little out of sorts right now. Oh, she's gonna flag mm. that three pin. That would have been a good shot at a seven, maybe. Yeah. All right, cleaned up the spare. South, South has started out with a triple yeah. in the men's match. Awesome sauce is up in the second frame. Got that one a little in. Oh, she almost gets lucky. She almost gets lucky and trips everything. She leaves a 10 pin. Okay. Well, that beast mode for class act managed to strike in the fourth frame, but they're still down about 32, 42 pins right now. Megan shooting at a 10 pin. Oh, and it just holds on. Keep <laughs> on! <laughs> South has a 39 pin lead. Megan steps up in the third frame. 
Oh, she hits it oh, right, sure. knocks okay. them all over. Okay. okay. Nice little light hit, she knocks them all over. Yeah, so we'll see what, what Sheena does here, because it'll probably determine if they pull, go ahead and pull Megan out and get Daphne back in or not, because I'm sure they want to try to get Daphne some rest when they can. Exactly. And you also want, and you also you want to be, I mean, this is, this is one thing about, I love about this is that, you know, sometimes you have to, uh, you have to create moments mm -hmm. where you give the, I don't want to say lesser bowler, but the bowler with the lower average. You want to, you want to, you want them to get their confidence yeah. because you may need them in a game six or a game seven, especially right. a game that they have to finish. Yeah. You know, and if it comes down to needing a shot, you want them to have been in a pressure situation. And you also want to let your teammate to know that you have that confidence in them. Yeah. Like, I have confidence in you to throw a good ball when we need it. Oh, you yeah. Know? But that is one thing about the tag team. Strategies definitely come into play. And it, and you also want to play to your team's strengths. Yep. Yeah, and a lot of it starts in practice. It starts with who's good on who's better on which lane. You yeah. know, that could determine later, you know, it, you stay in one more frame because I suck at that lane. You know, I need you to bowl. Like, yeah, you bowl that lane, I'll bowl over there. Yep, yep. So, I, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I'm kind of, the way Sheena started, she went spare, open strike. I was kind of surprised Roxy didn't come in there. But, you know, they might be, they might be determined that they're going to do but so many frames. Each, yeah. You know, maybe that's how they predetermine how they're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like I said, everybody does it different. Um, yep. When I was, when, when we were involved in the tag team, we always had, we always had our own little strategy. And it was mm -hmm. funny, my teammate always said, that's your job. You do strategy. <laughs> you, when you ready to tag, when we're tagging, you let me know. Yep. And that's how we did it. And I always had the, the mindset of, if you start off hot, you're pretty much going to bowl the first seven frames. Mm, Daphne left us with a nice 7-10. 7-10 seven, ten. Seven, ten split for Daphne. Yep. Okay, I'll open here will even things back up again. Oh, the monster. He gave out some room. Ooh, stones at eight. Yeah, so it's it's quick how this uh, men's match flipped around. Uh, South e uh, G Town started with three strikes. Now they're looking at three spares, and then the Northeast four, five, and six they strike. So you know, hey, it, yeah, the momentum has changed uh, here in game two. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Oh, he flagged the eight pin. Yeah, so remember, Jack's the one that opened in the 10th he last just, game. Oh, yeah. He just whiffed the eight pin. Putting the North in a position where if they can keep striking, if they can keep striking, they, they, can, they can build on their lead. Yeah. Okay, Daphne's finally in. Daphne's in there. She, she follows up that 7 10 split with a very nice strike. Still bowling. Didn't she start this game? Yeah, she's still in. Kind of makes me wonder if they're on like a, a frame count kind of deal. Or, yeah, I mean, it could, listen, that could be their strategy also because, like I was going to say before, when we did it, one of our strategies was unless you were just lost to, to your first three. Right. Um, you know, you stayed in it. Mm -hmm. You bowled the first seven. We started tagging going to eight. So it was eight, nine, 10, 10. Yep. So, you know, we worked it, we we, we, we worked it out where if you, listen, if you're hot, you go throw the front seven and we'll worry about it later. Yeah. Ooh. Light. That one was very, very light. Left herself, left for the two eight. Left for the two eight spare. Currently have a one pin lead. Carolina Swag with a one pin lead this game and a 1 0 lead in the series. That looks good. There you go. That there looks you good. Go. 
Oh my goodness. Ooh. Nothing better than a pocket 810. Yeah, they, this is, these guys, they, they are very determined to keep these games close yeah. and keep them interested. Yeah, it's like, you know, we don't want to win this game. Well, we don't no, want to win it either. You, know? either. You, you can have it. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, okay. Man, yeah. gave it a run at it. So, yeah, I was watching that 810, and uh, then Daphne went and got half here on 14. No, when it looked, it looked like she pulled out a different ball. I think she was trying, she, she might have been worrying that the ball was overhooking. So she pulled out a different ball, and whatever line she played, it didn't hook enough at all. Yeah. And left for that, left for that uh, five count. Yeah. But at least it's a situation where it was on a strike. So it didn't matter if it was a it one spare, hurt. nine spare, or in that case a five spare. It didn't hurt at all, but we do have a one pin match right now. Um, heavy hitters is back on it. I believe they've retaken the lead. Wait for the score to come up. Yeah. Yep, they've managed to retake the lead. And control their own destiny mm -hmm. the rest of the way. They can they can strike out. They will win. Mm. All right. So it's another example of where. The guys can't decide who wants to win the damn game. Yep. Yep. These ladies are over here fighting it out, though, I'll tell you. Yeah. So one we got a we got a one pin game through three four. Oh, and finally we see uh Sugar Cookie has stepped on the lane. Okay, that was mm. a very good ball. I was waiting to see if she struck there. That was good. I was going to say, they, they might have regretted not bringing her in sooner. Yeah, well, I might have brought I think I would have brought her in the fourth frame. Yeah, I would have too, because what, what concerns, because, you know, if you, if you kind of look at the four bowlers involved here for the ladies, if you if you look at their skill levels, you know, you could say Daphne's been the Southeast Asian champ for a long time. You know, even when she loses it, she gets it right back a couple months later. So you say Ooh, Daphne's probably the better bowler of the four. Uh -huh. Daphne's probably the better bowler of the four. Definitely. But then, and then I would say Roxy's right there behind her. Sheena's right, like right there behind Roxy. Like they're they're interchangeable. They're right there. Mm -hmm. And then it's Megan. So you got, you know, what they don't need to be doing is sitting down waiting. Exactly. You know, I mean, you sat thinking there, about it, getting yeah. nervous. I mean, it was probably 12, 13 minutes there Ooh. that went by between the time that uh, Roxy bowled and when she did. So one pin is all uh, G-Town needs on this first shot to go up 2-0. Oh my goodness. They just, man, I'll tell you that the splits are killing these guys right now. I'm starting to think I was wrong in, in saying it was going to be a high scoring match. Yeah, okay. A big shot, big yep. shot by Megan. Good shot by Megan, gives him a double. Strike here, put some put strike here, put him up 21 pins. Savage is there, and yeah, it's, it's really unexpected. You know, if anything, you 
honestly expect that the games Daphne starts to be the ones they would have. The, they, they would have the. They, they would have the advantage. And right now it's been it's been flipped. Yes. Yeah. C Swag won game one. It looks like they're gonna fall here in game two. So you turn the best of seven is now going to become a best of five now. You know, first two games are a wash, it's over with. Now we're going to go game three and brand new series. They got 228. Yeah. They can only go out for 227. So those open frames literally cost them this game. Got a lot of trash talking going on over here oh, on yeah. the, the men's thing. I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's what, that's, what the, that's what the UBA is all about. Mm hmm You know? Yep. They're talking trash about Jack missing them spare, easy spares earlier. Yeah. Yep. And they're telling Beast Mode to go ahead and 4-9 here on his <laughs> shot. So, Jack made his spare. Let's see if uh, see if Beast Mode can avoid a 4-9 here. There ain't no 4-9 there. They're in, the, they're in the pit with the rest of them. Megan's got that energy of uh, of that, that that bowler that gets their first strike in league that that like never strikes. You know that that yeah. extra excitement. Oh, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know that's that's awesome. Get that new bowler love. Yeah, yeah, that's that great. That new that new bowler hype. Yep. Yeah, this is one of them them situations where. You know, this is this environment for her is going to suck her into the UBA oh, world. Yeah. You know, it's where she's going to become addicted to it. Yes. You know, and anytime there's an event, she'll be one of the ones prepaying tabs so she can then find the teammates later. Like, she's going to be just, this kind of, it sucks you in, you know, to this, this thing. It makes, you, it makes you enjoy the overall culture of bowling more. It makes you enjoy league more. It makes you want to be better. It makes you want to practice. Yep. I mean, that's what it did for me. Oh, yeah. That's what it did for me. You know, I was a career 180, 190 guy. Um, 
but one league, one league. And once the UBA came around and I started bowling UBA events and tour stops, I really started caring about my bowling game and wanting to be better, buying new bowling balls, mm -hmm. um, making sure I had better equipment, you know, going out and practicing regularly, you know, joining more leagues, being mm -hmm. in two, three leagues that on top of the UBA, you know, it makes you want to be a better bowler. It makes it make it makes you want to be able to compete. Yep. Yeah. It, it definitely. And that's that's the the fun the, and the love and the culture of the UBA. It makes it so awesome. Oh, another solid ten pin. And sometimes it's it's going to it. Yeah, it's going to events that that really suck you in. Um, we I came to Mega Bowl. Um, probably four or five years ago, when I was back when I was on Savages, mm -hmm. uh, we were it was when we were Mega Bowls in Greensboro, and uh, we were only I was bowling the 1050 cap. You know that was kind of one thing I was bowling, but you know I got sucked in watching the WCS matches. You know the WCS matches you had um, uh, Christina Oakley bowling uh, against Amanda Stone, and Amanda Stone's another one of the big things we've had down here that's that's been the champ for many. Uh, many many months at a time uh, with uh, disorderly conduct mm -hmm. and she just was she swept Christina and it wasn't the fact that she swept her it was the fact that you know her uh, Christina's teammate uh, Emily Kyle came out when they threw a broom on the approach and pulled it up and defended her person and de defended her teammate and that's what sucked me in mm -hmm. was like okay I want to be on a team like that I want to be a part of something like that to where I've got people that got my back. So I, I give those ladies credit um, for my WCS involvement all the time, all the way up now to where I'm the you know WCS director for the South. So I would all to come into an event. That's it. That's all it takes, man. That's all it takes. Coming to see this live. Mm -hmm. I mean, being able to see it and enjoy it on TV is great. Also, the atmosphere, the environment, you don't get the same feel as being at an event. Right. Definitely stones another 10 pin. The monster. Ooh, the monster. All right, Roxy getting up here, working on a spare. All Daphne's done so far this game is spare the first two, so a strike here gives them an early advantage. Oh, came in too light there. Yeah, that was very light. That was very light. That was almost as bad as that five count that Daphne had on that lane earlier. Yeah. Throws a seven count. So we add, we have another close one over here. The South is up two zip, but we have another close one. They're down six pins right now. Yeah, it's another one where they just the guys can't decide who wants to win. They yes. just that's exactly the problem right now. Yeah, and then nobody's wanting to like just take control of it. And that's yeah. the beauty of when you're doing the tag team. As yeah. soon as you see that spark, yep. or you see that one teammate that does yep. have that spark as far as, yo, I got us today. Yeah. When the games that they start, even the games they don't start, the games that they start, you know they're going to go front five, front six. Mm -hmm. And even the games they don't start where you throw the first three and you're, you're not in the pocket or you're not striking, they're like, okay, I'll go. They're going to throw the next four, the next five. Until yep. you tag again. Yeah, I always liked it when uh, when my tag partner was always aggressive. Like we didn't have to when we didn't have to have a conversation on when the tag should take place and all that. You know, it was always easier when it was just, you know, if I threw a bad shot and like he he just if he was getting up on the approach, I knew I knew that he was he was ready. That was his, yeah. he been, him being you focused. Was, you knew it was time to sit down. Yeah, it was time for me to go sit down. Ooh. And and and, then I, and I did the same. I, we had plenty of matches where I had the better look. Um, 
you know, I, had, I was having better carry, just whatever. And, you know, and there were matches where he had the same. And so it's that kind of, uh, you know, when you've got to talk about it, do you want to come in or do you want to come, do you want to come yeah. out? That, all that oh, indecision. Whatever you want to do. No, no, no. We, you you, you got to, you, you, you feel, you feel the, the, the intensity of the moment, the atmosphere. Like just now, he just stoned the 10 pin. They tagged the left, you shot the 10 pin. Yep. I like that strategy, especially if you need to tag anyway. Why wait until I make my spare and then tag to you? Yep. Yeah, you do shoot it now. the easiest spare. Are we tag now. It's still one tag. Yep. You shoot the easiest spare and then you throw the next ball again. Yep. Yep, absolutely. All right, Daphne. Oh, Daphne comes in light again. I don't know if that's that same ball she switched to or. No, I think she's throwing that. Uh, <laughs> that red ruby that she was throwing before. No, that's a. Uh, oh man, Revenant or something like that. It's okay. called. It's one of the newer releases. The monster. The monster trying to help his team out with a stray. The strike here in the eighth frame will put will put them up 17. We'll we'll put the Northeast up 17 pins. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah, he said they did no eight ten this time. Yeah, no, no eight ten time. this time. Looks like he's throwing some storm products too. I think he's. I think that's a phase three he was throwing right there. Is what it looked like from here. a nice little strategy here. I, I think the last time he threw a ball on that lane, he, that's when he left the 8-10. So mm -hmm. he just tagged so he can throw the ninth. All right, and we finally got a strike on oh. the Vixen side. Okay. Yes, finally. And ironically enough, a second strike here mm -hmm. by Sheena will tie it up. <laughs> yeah. She's throwing that nice and straight. Boom. Yes, she did. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. That's how you stone an eight pin. Jesus mm. Christ. That was an excellent, excellent ball. She changed her line of hair. She's not putting it out. She threw it nice and straight. Yeah, yeah I can't fault her for that one at all. Hey, Daphne, you're missing a nine pin on 13. <laughs> Everybody's telling Daphne. <laughs> the nine pin. The nine, nine pin. That's right. The one next to the 10 pin. And the eight. It's also beside the eight, too. Yeah, the one in the middle. Okay. Two town heavy hitters are trying to take, trying to fight and keep it close. Trying to keep it close, but they're gonna need a lot of strikes to finish this match off. They can finish out at 229, while the Northeast can strike out for 234. Oh. All right. There's a, there's a lot of beer on that table. You ain't never one. <laughs> A lot of beer on that table. They're having fun over there. If they all move in a hair, there'll be a lot of bellies on that table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the uh, Jack. Ooh. Oh, man. He almost 710. Yeah. From, from zero to hero. Yeah. But, but it doesn't change. It, listen, it doesn't change. The objective no. of it's Class X. I mean, I, I, my, I might think I'm sitting there looking at 234. That is my goal. That is yep. what I'm thinking about. It doesn't matter what he does. Yep. I'm, I still need to go 234 to win. So if he strikes out, I need to go 234 to win. If I was going first, I need to go 234 to win. Yep. You know what I mean? So doesn't change the objective. Puts a little pressure on you, but you know what? You can't handle a little bit of pressure. He's going to roll it, too. Now he no. only needs the first two and nine. Yep. No. 
Nah, either way. 234 to win. He needs the first two minimal count to win. Yeah. All right, good oh, shot from nice Megan there. Yes. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. And she stones a knife hit. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that something? Oh, mm. solid ten pin. All right. Looks so like the North is down three zip. This might they better, they better put it together real quick. Even if he uh, even if he spare strikes, it'll be two twenty three. All right, Megan spares to maintain their one pin lead at the moment. Shot he needed first. Yeah, man. That's the shot he needed first. Uh oh. Let's go. It ain't over yet. That's a nine count from Daphne. Ooh. These uh, class X fellas are getting a little uh, upset of the. Uh, yeah. I haven't heard ex exactly what was being said, but yeah, something, something, somebody said got him a little, uh, little angry. I mean, that and the fact that you know, when, when you're losing, yeah, you tend to get, you know, you're a little more frustrated. But I didn't, I haven't heard anything that would have been over the top. Right no, 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 no. We're all, we're all still within the, 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 the realms of the UVA. Um, oh yeah, no, you, listen, we have, I, I, I listen. We, nope. I've seen some lines crossed. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. But we we usually uh we don't really throw down and get, get crazy like that in the south as long as you yeah as long as as long as you pay your bets and uh, drink a beer with me yeah. you're all right you know there you go that's how we do it down that's here that's what it's all about man that's what it's all about man bowling having a good time it's yep. fun okay South starts it off. Starts it off with this three. Hey, it's about time. We'll be starting for the north. Go. Oh. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a little. She put enough on that. Where yeah, know, she should at least nip it. Vixens are all squared okay. here, going to the seventh. Yep. Roxy in doing her thing. A little bounce there on that one. Uh, ooh. Got it, though. Ooh. Uh -huh. well, Brian Walton is starting this game, so he'll get to finish it. See if he can start off with a double, try to give this North team some momentum down three zip. And he does, and he does. They're gonna, they're gonna need it. You ain't, you ain't lying. Because I, I tell you one thing about G Town. Even when it, when it comes to the tour, tour yeah. stop season and anything that, when they get going, they get going. Yeah. Um, ooh, she pulled that one a little bit. It's one jersey. Ooh. ooh. Oh, it would have kept going over both bridges. That one went to Delaware. <laughs> She just flagged the head pin, and I guess she has an issue with her thumb hole. So <laughs> yeah, her, her like, sense about tape. Daphne's like, all right, uh, <laughs> I'll go make this pair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. That's 
seven spare cost them. Now they give now they got they're down three pins to Carolina Swag. That match is all locked up at one one. While uh, the men over here, South is up. South is up three zip. Yep. Turkey. And oh, oh, Ooh. it was for a break. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, he almost left the seven. Oh, guess you go. Daphne takes over. She makes the spare. And then strikes the next frame. Okay, Sheena Jones on the strike, stepping up in the eighth frame. Oh, she oh, pulled no. that one. Oh, God. If it holds, no, she also mm. runs by the head pin. Pressure, a little bit of nerves, I think. Mm. Little beat. Yeah. Well, she throw, actually throws it straight enough to have a shot. Yeah, oh, there she goes. And, yeah, cleans, you, and cleans it up with no problem. Yeah, you like I said, it. she throws it straight enough. She threw it. She throws it. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that, that's a miss for mo most, especially men. Mo the mo most, most guys got more guys revs, that, more they hook. got revs and they're hooking at it. Yeah, yep. when you can, if you can throw the ball out, unless you use your spare ball, yeah. unless you, you know, you're that advanced where you can throw, you know, use your plastic ball and throw mm -hmm. it straight. No, that was, that was a, a textbook example of she probably wishing that's what she would have done for her first ball. Because mm -hmm. she probably would have struck. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's a beautiful ball there. Oh, two of them. Two of them. Two beautiful strikes. So Matt spared in the third frame. And then this guy in the north gets up, and then he eight spares in the third frame. Yeah. Yet another example not taking advantage of the door. Yeah. Doors open. Push that damn thing open. Yep. Barge in there. Stop. Sometimes you got to. So right now, strike here. Can give the South a one pin lead. Oh, oh, and he's 7 10s. Oh, oh, he's 7 10. But it's early. Oh. Yeah. Stephanie steps off the approach. She's got the yeah, seven ten she, staring she's at her, at that. And, yeah. I, and I and I can understand that, especially when it's not on your pair. Yeah, I'm I, I'm of a different mindset. I've never been very superstitious, especially if my opponent left a seven ten. Yeah, I want to get up I'm there jumping, and put pressure I'm on him. I'm jumping all over that. Many a mm. many a, many a day I've stepped up and was like, oh yeah, and, and that's my mindset. Tell yourself. All right, jump on that. Yeah, when you leave the door open for me, man, I'm 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 busting through that thing. Exactly, that's the, and that's the mindset you have to have. I don't want to see if it's open later. I want it now. All right, okay. Matt came back there for that seven. Bounces ten. back out, yeah, for after that seven ten split. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, man. I guess I, I was worried more than she was because off her hand it oh, looked. I, I promise she was worried because she chopped that a couple times in her Bix in the match earlier today. So she she was worried. Yeah, but that ball didn't move at all. Okay. It's about time to throw the first five frames. Bring in 10. Uh, all right, Beast Mode. Chris mm. Fawcett is over here. He's, uh, he's had a little rough go of it today. He's had a bit of a rough go of it. 
Oh, he throws Ooh. that one pretty good. Gets yeah, that was covers nice. Covers them all. That was nice. He covered covered a lot of boards on that one. Yes, he did. Strike fish, you can finish up with a 190. We're all even at one. We're all, oh, that's not uh -oh. That didn't sound good. No. Yep. Didn't sound or look good. We're, we're all even at one in the ladies match. She can strike here for 190. The uh, first strike in the tenth would give uh, Carolina swag. It would give Carolina swag the game. And ironically enough, as you said before, they will have won both games yeah. that Daphne started. So, which, which just goes to show, regardless of what your strategy is, sometimes it doesn't matter who starts and who finishes. You always, you, you would love for your stronger bowler to bowl your tenth frame every time, mm -hmm. but they can't always do it. No. But actually, they they can't. They can throw the first two of the ten. Right. And then you would have to finish. You know, the bowler would have to finish. Yeah. So all we need is a mark here for Carolina Swag. Ooh, okay, oh, she got oh, that man. out. She got that out. So she should leave herself. I was gonna say she should leave herself a make of a spare. Yeah. If not strike, but she struck. So Carolina Swag will hold on to win game three. Yep. And yep. we'll take a two-one lead going into game four. Roxy getting some free practice for the next game. Oh, okay. And she's taking full advantage of it. Time, Mr. Walton with the big strike in the seven. Giving the Northeast a commanding lead. Roxy on her field. Ooh, Roxy buries her field ball to win game three. To win game three to give Carolina Swagger two games to one lead. Just slightly. Oh, nice, nice ball. Trips the two pin last. Nice. All right. Southeast can, can make it hurt. Oh, they can make it hurt. Or not. Oh, okay. Nice ball. Okay, no, 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 yeah. Yeah, they open early. They're on a four-bagger. Yeah, the Northeast has a nice, nice little lead right now. Yeah, they have a nice lead right now. 34. Even if he strikes, and have 64. Oh, my God. They'll still be down. They'll still be down 19 pins. Ooh, 
lot going on. A lot going on back here. A lot going on back here. Oh, solid 10 pin. Ooh, Beast Mode leaves a solid 10 pin. Spare here. They got two, two or two or three in the ninth. Six for 94. They still have a nine pin lead. So Southeast can go, man can go 224. Let's see if this ends in four here. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Mm. I was going to say, unless, and, and he almost did it, I was going to unless something horrendous happens here in the 10th frame, yeah. he would have had to poke a hole in the 10th and then they go out. Because they can go out for 224. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, if he if, if if he marks here, if he spares, it's 23. Yeah, they can and, still and catch Southeast him. Can still, they can still double. They can yeah. go 24. You're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah, They're yeah, absolutely this, right. So. But he definitely needed that first strike. Actually, yeah, he needed that because even a spare there, yeah, a, yeah and I a spare there would have been 22. Yeah, and see, I missed what happened in the eighth frame, but that eight that open is what did it. You know. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, he chopped something. Something. Yeah, if they would have spared there, we're not even okay. worried about what. Uh, but now that was big. He's that, was big. Now, yep. now, that was big. Now they can go 33. Yep. They can only go 24. Yeah. And, so uh, he's got to keep it on the so lane here, yeah, and it'll be 3-1. Keep it on the lane. The yep. north, the north has pulled one out, so now it's a 3-1. But that's all you can do, man. I went through this right. Yeah. I was down three zero. I told my I told my guy he was sitting there dejected. I said. Yo, Let's win this game. Yeah, let's all, win you, this one. all you can do is win a game. Let's, you, win can't win, you can't win four games in one shot. Let, let's no. go win this one, one and let's time. see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. What you trying to make that? <laughs> Listen, unless you've made it before, I always yeah. go after my seven pins. I'm right-handed. I'm going for the easier pin. Always. That's just me. All right. It's about to be Three to one over here on the men's side. Yeah. While well, it's two one. Feels it for the women? Yeah, these are the uh, the beautiful Vixen tag team champs. Okay, nice little purple in there, like the little color yeah, they added. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Very shout, nice. shout out to Phil. Uh, Phil Chance for letting me uh, design these things for him and okay, and making this happen for him. That one, and it's gonna go past the headpin again. Yeah. And she does it again. Yeah, just, she just like a, she had she it over. A, that one, that one, well, that one wouldn't have been a strike, but that was where she needed to put it to yeah. make that spare. And she throws it straight enough to make those kind of spares. Yep. But they are wisely going ahead and get Roxy in here. 
Yes, you're absolutely right. Exactly. The last time they waited, and this time they're getting Roxy up early off the bench. There you go, because you're going to need some strikes. There you go. And it definitely doesn't help that the Savages open early. Yeah. So I, I, it's funny. After those first three frames, I expected the, 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 the other bowlers to be coming in at the fourth frame. Yeah. Right. Yeah, remember Swag didn't do that earlier. When, no, no, not at all. You know, exactly. And that's, and that's the thing is they, they learned from it. And had they done it, yeah, they might have had a better chance. Yeah. This could be a 3-0 match instead of a 2-1. Yep. Ooh, she leaves a... Seven pin. All right. Oh, the monster goes face and trips the four yeah. pin. <laughs> she makes easy work at a seven pin. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, most people would love to have her spare percentage. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I, I'm sure. All right, up 3-1 into the second frame. The Mosses. Oh, mm. so is the seventh pin. Okay. First two frames, this match has started out pretty much like the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that, that, that's that's his son Jax. He's uh, they're actually gonna be leaving after we're done to drive back. He's got a Pepsi tournament tomorrow. Okay. Um, that he's that he's bowling in, but it's in their in their home house. So it's yeah. at Paradise Lane in Spartanburg. So. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's a he, he's a very talented bowler himself. Mm. Very nice yeah, ball. Very nice, very nice, nice ball. They are gonna, they are gonna give him the business because he has definitely been a little shaky today. And yeah, well, they could tell he was, the, he was the target. He was the target in the, in the, in the trash talk. Yeah, definitely. you know. And when you give him that opportunity, yeah. Oh no, and then when you know, when you let him, when you let him see that it got to. Him, yeah. You know what I mean? He, I think he left a couple of splits and then they started saying yeah hey, go on up there and throw another four nine it, you know yeah then the, the thing in that is really that they just aren't um they're not going to let up like if, if you're if you're in that situation where you're not comfortable in your environment you got to sit there and go okay let me move let me just kind of yeah don't don't talk shit back don't talk that trash back go ahead and move you know just, listen just, zone out Zone, zone it out. out. Zone yeah. it. That's all you. That's the best thing you could do. Have a seat somewhere, Wusa, and yep. because if you not even that you say something back, but if you say something back to show that they've gotten to you, right? It's only gonna get worse. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. And I, and I can I can speak to that because when I was uh, in cap tag team, um, I bowled um, Jack's wife Heather. And uh, Lee Boland's wife, Tracy, were the cap team. We got up 3-0, mm -hmm. and we opened in the ninth or 10th to cost us game four, and they walked us down. Yeah. And it they happened. They would just, once they you got. Gotta, you got to you gotta shut teams down mm -hmm. as soon as you can. 
once you have the opportunity, once you got, if I got your foot on your neck, I'm, I need to put you away. Yeah. I definitely need to put you away. You can't, uh, you know, because like now, like, like I said, he he, 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 he he just chopped that spear. Uh-oh, let's see. Ooh, he makes the oh, he, he covered it. But even though he covered it, they're on a strike. They're only, they're only up nine pins on a spare, which is basically even. Yeah. Mm, okay, she could have struck there to put him down 10, not it down 11. 11 pins. <laughs> oh, face. Face. G-Town heavy hitters are not capitalizing on the open frame given to them. No. They are not capitalizing at all. Mm. He cleans it up, but a yeah. couple, couple more strikes from class acts and they'll be right back in the lead. Oh, sugar cookie. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, I thought that was. Oh, that was half. I, I thought. I thought that was going to come all the way back as it started hooking. I really thought she was going to go from zero to hero. Well, I thought we were going to have a, 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 a bull TV gutter ball. And I definitely didn't want to see oh, that. Oh, my goodness. I'd have to move my mic out the way because uh, you throw gutter balls in the UBA and. The whole building is likely to likely to yell. Um, oh yeah! Mm. I, I was fortunate enough yesterday. I, uh, I I I threw a gutter ball, uh -huh. and uh, I was down like lanes three and four, so there weren't many people paying attention that way. Okay. Not as many eyeballs, so I was able to get away with just a little bit of hazing from the, the table there. Gotcha. Didn't get the whole hey. the whole experience. There it is. There it is. Yep. The North has managed to uh, to triple to get themselves a lead, and that open that open frame just gave the Savages a five pin lead. Yeah. And um, yeah, this could all be tied at two in a second. Yep. See Roxy get the. See what happens. Up. All right. Finally. Southeast finally able to put together another strike. Okay, easy cover for Roxy. All right. Awesome sauce is coming in. Yeah, I think I think she's got a bowl of the eight. Daphne will come in probably bowl the ninth and probably the first two in the tenth. To this being oh, okay. game four, um, Megan has to finish. Okay, yes, you're right. Oh, if it holds. Nope. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this right. is turning into the men's match yeah. here where they started strong and then now they're like, okay, let yeah. me let you get it. You know. Okay. We got a 13 pin lead. If you can strike, if you can strike here in the sixth frame, they'll have a 13 pin lead. Oh, she didn't put it out. This is gonna go for it. But it's a, okay. Ooh, oh boy. Ooh, that mm. hurts. That hurts. That, that was the weirdest sounding looking big four I've ever seen. It it looked like the, there was no chance the other pins ever fallen. Everything just kind of went backwards. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so... Mm, this one just got interesting because this one could be over. Got to step it up here. Got to start throwing some strikes. 
They can only strike out for 27. They, oh, mm. he gets lucky. He catches the 10 pin. They can only go 227. Southeast starts striking here. They can they can go they can go sheet for 254. So the North needs to strike and hope the South starts tapping yeah. over here in the men's match. The ladies' match looks like it's gonna come down to the tenth frame. Yeah. Carolina yeah. swag up two one going into game four is up nine pins. Controlling on Destiny, the first two in the tenth, and she can and she can shut out <coughs> Savages. Yeah, she goes. Baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> very light hit. Uh, Roxy, Roxy thinks some people are number one over there. Very light hit. I love it. Yes, yes, Roxy has some fans in the back that she uh wanted to let them know. know how how she was supportive of them. Yes, very. She thought they were number one. It's a family show, Roxy. <laughs> okay, the heavy hitters do not want to run away with it. They do not want to run away with it. They basically had a 25-pin lead and could have all but shut it out. And it looks like yeah, it's gonna be three one. Looks like the Cadillac and the swag yeah. have pulled a, another uh, miraculous upset of a game and uh, well, I, they had I, a three one lead. Well, and I, and I want to do the the the, the uh, announcer jinx we've talked about before, but I'm hoping Sheena don't throw this ball anywhere near the gutter because she's made me a little nervous from time to time. I got you. Hopefully that would, she just, yes, throw, just that straight be, down the middle. Yo, just get, that would, get be, one that would pin. be 199. There you <laughs> You're go. You're absolutely yeah. right. I, yes. If she throws it in the gutter, that would have been 199, and she could have struck out for 200. But, yeah, we don't do that around here. Yeah. All right. And it looks like they have started to strike again. Another strike here. They got 137 in the seven. Yeah, all, all they can do is get to 227. Yeah. Ah, he could have gotten mm. to 227, but nope. all they can get to is 220. If they got to strike out. They can get to 220. Yeah. If it cleans. I'm neutral. Okay. I'm working right now. I'm working right now. Oh, he got oh, my God. Head. Oh, he just flagged another 10 pin. Yeah, I don't mind. That was huge. All right, come on, Matt. Let's do this for the South, buddy. That was huge. Hey, I'm over here being neutral. I ain't huh? over here rooting. Nah, see, I. I nah, no, no. When, when commentating when commentate neutral, TV, okay. you're neutral. Uh, okay, I'm neutral. All right, <laughs> get us a. Uh, uh, <laughs> throw, throw, throw it in the ditch, Matt. Throw it in the ditch. No, nah, that's not neutral. Well, if we go to neutral, we got a game go for eight, game for seven. We got to go for seven in every series. But um, yeah, now this he need, actually he needs to split open. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. That's two twenty. They can go two twenty. They can only go one ninety four. That was a horrible break. And and it's funny because I'm not even I don't remember. This is game five, so I believe did Beast Mode start this game? No. Uh, no. 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 It's about time started. No. No, Beast Mode did start. No, Beast Mode yeah. started, so he has to finish. Yeah. And so if they've already made three tags, I don't know if they have or not, I would have let Beast Mode. Yeah. Oh, he's, not let, he's not let both righty. Okay, never yep. mind. I'm thinking about the other team, because I would say I would have let the lefty shoot at the 10 pins. This guy's been right, right, right. Pins. Guy's been running by splits already. Mm. Ooh, 16. Wow. So they got the tag left, so Jack comes in. 16. 200. He has to. Oh, he has to spare and decent count, and and see. And that's the strategy I like. Look at that. He's they they they, they switch to the lefty. Yep. To there shoot you go. The yeah, that, that's what you got to do. So if you have a lefty righty so team, they're on 190. The max for class acts. He needs is 94. He just needs a five count. Yeah. 
He needs half. He's half. <laughs> this would be a great time for half. Um, that would be hilarious. Your team will not get mad at you for getting half right here. Yeah, this match is all but over. As long as he keeps it on the lane. As long as he keeps it on the lane. Yep. 200. This is all over. The South. The South has risen again. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's two. That's two for the South. the South. I believe they lost the. Well, let's see. I think they're down 3-0 in the welterweight. They won the Southeast won the cruiserweight. But I'm not sure how the tag match and stuff is going down there. Carolina Swag is up 3-1. right? 3-1. No one, no one loses any belts, but uh, somebody's losing some money. That's the only thing that's going on right now. But the uh, the South has defeated the North in the tag team, the uncapped tag team championship. Five games in, four games to one. Fifteen and sixteen is complete. The South South defeats the North tag team. Both teams retain their belts. No one loses any belts. Yeah, but somebody definitely lost some money. That's uh, four games to one for the South. We're gonna put our focus, put our focus back over here to this to this uh, Vixens Championship tag team match here, where we have. An upset brewing. And, you know, we have an upset brewing because you know I got I gotta think coming in. I, I have to think coming in that the Savages were favored. Having 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 Daphne Smith on the team and her being able to you know to dictate when having her having her dictate when they bowl. She definitely, her team definitely should have been favored to win. You know, both teams have one, I would say, exceptional bowler and one relatively newer bowler. But the newer bowlers are holding their own and they're throwing the ball very well. They're making their spares and, you know, they're making it easy for their teammates. You know, but right now, right now, Carolina Swag has a 3-1 lead. On the savages. Solid ten pin in the third frame.
I'm not shocked to hear that. No. Uh -uh. Malachi is not as good as he thinks he is. All right, another another ten pin for Daphne. Yes, we got a lot of C-Swag fans in the building because uh, Roxy is supposed to be bowling in the triples event that starts in like eight minutes. Ooh. But they can't start until she's available. Ooh. So, But there's a lot of people going to be cheering for them to, lead, to win because they're up 3-1. So, <laughs> um, Where there might have been a lot of hey, no, Daphne listen, Savages fans, listen, I think it flipped. Everybody, no, everybody in the building will be rooting for Roxy if they, if they know – that they can't start until they <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's the situation the whole, in uh, the whole tournament will be rooting for her. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh, nice and straight to the pocket. Ooh, ooh, mm. Four five. Wow. All right. Very ma very makeable spare. You have to be somewhat accurate to do so, but it's a very makeable spare. And um, she would keep her team within three pins. And she makes the split. Precision at its finest. Yeah, her, her being such a straight shooter. Yes. Is, is made all them shots she's all got? Yeah, like, exactly. It's, it's more money than the other ladies, really. Yep. Because they, the other one's got more of a hook. She just She's straight, yep. slight little bend at the end. It's good. Yeah, and, and that hook actually hurts you at going after certain spares. You need to be able to throw it straight up. Yeah. All right. Carolina Swag down three pins going into the fifth frame. There you go. She got that one out a little bit. It's coming back in a light hit. And, ooh, mm. the ten pin stays up. It's a very, very important game right here. The Savages need to turn it on very, very soon. They're only up three pins right now, and you know they need to start throwing some strikes to give themselves a little cushion because this will be over. Yeah, this will be over if, the, if Carolina Swag can win here. They will be the Vixens Tag Team Champion. Daphne Smith will have something to say about that. Mm-hmm. There she is. Uh-oh. There she go. Oh, solid hit for Daphne. There you go. Gives the team a four-pin lead, and she's working on a strike. frame for Daphne. Can she get a double? Nice. Oh, nice no. hit. A little high. She stole the nine pin. Jesus Christ. So, how about you shut up and let the lady bowl? <laughs> how about that? <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's a, that's a lot of alcohol content. Uh, oh, yeah. Having this toll oh, there. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. But you know what? It's all good. She cleans up her spare. Yeah. She cleans up her spare. They still maintain a four-pin lead. No. Yeah, and, and people not knowing the story would think that, that that little conversation with them was different than it actually is. They went to a tournament together one time, and uh, they thought that uh, Tracy was Daphne's daughter. Oh, yeah, so I heard that. Yeah, she, so it's she stuck calls with her the, mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, out of a jam. Ooh, she almost left a 7-10. She gets, she, gets she gets a little help. She just got to make a 10-pin.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, mm. she fell. It falls off. Yep. I was, and I was just getting ready to say she she ran by a couple earlier. And yeah. You know that happened. That tends to happen. You run by a ten pin, and the next thing you know, you overcompensate and put one in the gutter. Okay. Oh, another 10 pin. Mm. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, look, that's teammates knowing each other. Yeah. As soon as she left the second 10 pin, the seventh frame. Yeah, she started heading on back. She jumped, yeah, she just yeah. hit here. She's a teammate, and that teammate was jumping up as soon as she was walking past her. Uh oh. Oh, and mm. she misses it also. It does. Oh, that's two. I'm feeling like this is going to end up going to six here. If, uh, I, listen, the worst part, the worst part is this, this tournament might not start till 9 o'clock if it goes seven. Man. <laughs> you have a lot of angry people in the building. Yeah, yeah. Tynell's already looking at me sideways a little bit ago. That's a, we do such a good job of trying to stack the events, and then yeah. you get one thing goes Those wrong early, late, yeah, yep, and it pushes pushed everything back. back. I believe this was supposed to start around 4 o'clock, wasn't it? No, these were scheduled to start at 5.30. Oh, okay. Um, but but the squad before us, um, they started late because people didn't – they started the squad before people got checked in, and it was just kind of a, a, okay. a, little, bit of a, a little bit of a mess up there, a little bit of a disaster. And uh, so that squad got started late. So then that pushed, you know, getting these lanes re-oiled and everything for them to bowl. Push that back, and so we're here. Yeah, man, that big match went seven. Yep, <laughs> that yeah. didn't help. And we actually got that one started early because yeah. it, was, it was originally going to start at three thirty, and we got that started about three. Ooh, plastic, plastic holds on. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. After after missing huh. after missing back to back ten pins. Carolina Swag has put themselves in a little bit of a hole here. Yeah. Put themselves in a little bit of Put themselves in a little bit of a hole. Oh, okay. Strike here. Gonna put them up 24. Ooh. Okay. Mm. That's all right, it's a 23 pin lead right, at the moment. 23 pin lead at the moment, but it, it's a lot of bowling left and it can still go either way. Yeah, yeah, it can still go either way. The last two girls that attempted a 10 pin uh, put, it in the, put it in the drink, so. Okay. Nice. Jasmine giving out 10 pin lessons. Yeah. Hope the young ladies is paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, because them 10 back to back 10 pins like that. That's just. Ooh. Okay. That looks good. Nice and high flush. There you go. Right back on it. Okay. Another strike, and they can cut it to a 42, 55, a 13 pin lead if they can, uh, if they can keep striking. Looks good. Oh, she hit it light. Another 10 pin. Another 10 pin. Flags another one. Oh, mm -hmm. Puts it right in the gutter. They, they are not. It's, they are not. Mm. And, it, and it's funny because game five is usually the one where if you're down three zip or three one mm -hmm. and you lose game five, 
yeah. even though you're still up. You're it's like, the momentum. It's the momentum. Yeah. So now it's like, all right, we got to win this one because if we lose this one, now it's going to go seven, and then you're worried. Yeah. So, okay, that looks like a good ball if it moves. Oh, it moved too much. Mm. Wow. Oh, she gave it right back, but they still. Nah, they I still, mean, this, they're, 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 they're 159 plus whatever she gets here. The most CSW I can do is 170. Yes. I mean, well, you know, I'm 161. They would have to mark in the 10 if they strike out. No, no, let me see. Yeah, no. I mean, they're pretty much. They're 161. They would, yeah, they, they yeah. would need nine pins to tie, and they definitely would have to spare in the 10. Yeah, she gets the two gets here. The two. There you go. Yep. So they're 171 to no, 161. No, no, I'm saying they got 161. Even yeah. if, like, they may, hypothetically, they miss a 10 pin or they go nine out. Yeah. They can strike out for 170. I mean, it's, yeah. it's you know. Well, but the, 21 but the, pins going into the 10th is usually yeah. a very comfortable lead. But this being game five, it's, it's, it's a situation we talked about earlier where this advantage Daphne. Daphne's the one in, that has to finish. So Daphne's going to get up here, and all she had to do is mark. And then we're going to game six. Yes. And we're going to have a bunch of angry women. Unless something crazy happens. Oh, that's a nice hot flush. Okay. There you go. I'm just saying, because right. that's the thing. You're trying to go high flush to strike. Yep. You miss a hair left, and you go high, and you leave the 4-7-10. Yep. <laughs> you know. Yep, so now we're 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two and Vixen is going to go to game six. Yeah, the Vixen is going to game six, and uh, the ladies' triples is going to go to 8-30. <laughs> yeah. At least. Yep. Oh, two nice flush shots. Daphne getting some free practice. She getting some free practice in the 10th to set up next game. Rocky getting herself some free practice to set up the next game. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Savages look like they're trying to be at it again. They were down, weren't they down 3-1 in the semis? Yeah. They came back and uh, pulled it out. Lined up for lined up for next game. And mm -mm. tell you, 33 pins left on the left on the deck in those 10 pins. Yeah. 33 pins left on the deck. Are they now? I guess they said the hell. With Is 
I know, but I already told her that they had to start with we the way we were done. You told who that? You told who that? I'm not going to. Nice try, bro. I mean, she bowled on the right on the she bowled on the correct lane, so it, but yeah, she bowled just a different order. Out of turn, it's, yeah. yeah, it's okay. She's like, listen, this is my turn. She's yeah, like Lee, the, the light, the arrows on me, I'm bowling. Jersey, see you, right? Yeah, so it sounds like, um, I don't know if uh, C-Swag found uh, somebody else to bowl for Roxy in the trios. Oh, I don't know. They did they? Or, I'm not sure what, what how they worked it out, but um, she don't seem too upset about it. So they must have, maybe they worked it out where their pairs are going to start late. Or yeah. Like I said, because it's not her fault. They started late here. They no. They started uh -uh. An hour late, almost an hour late. So Yeah. That's gonna hold. Oh, no, mm. no, she kind of glad it didn't hold because if it would have stayed there much longer, she would have split. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, if it would have held a little longer, it might have stayed in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, that last squad, uh, they're starting late, causing us to start late. It's causing the world title match now to start late. Yeah, most definitely. Nice there. Nice spear. Okay. Savages with an early 14 lead. Thanks to the dreaded 5-1. Okay. Megan went strike spare to start. Let's see if she can, what she does here in the third before mm -hmm. she hands the reins back over to Daphne. Yeah. Well, that first strike, that first strike was a little bit lucky. She uh, she pulled the ball left, and then as it as it kept hooking, it made it to the jersey side. And, uh, yeah. Well, she got that one out. Oh, she got that one out a little bit. Hit it light. Oh, okay. That one she got out and hit the pocket light and jiggled them up. No, guys. Tell Daphne to sit down. Hey, Daphne. Sheena's up in the third. She get out with some room. Oh, it came back nicely, but mm. ooh, a little too wide. Left the 10 pin. Let's see if they can get over the ips. Well, I'm sorry, the yips and make yeah. this 10 pin. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. She cleans up the 10 pin. Yeah, every 10 pins Savage makes, makes me a, nervous now. Yeah, a little bit. Savage has got a 15 pin lead.
Nice, nice ball there by Roxy. Nice, nice ball by Roxy. Strike here by Daphne can extend the lead. Oh yeah, let's see if she, she can. Extend the lead from 15. Oh, that looks good. Looks excellent off a of hand. Extend that 15 pin lead. Daphne's up in the fifth frame. Looks like she got it out. Coming back. High flush. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Roxy trying to keep it at a 25-pin lead. That looks pretty good off a of hand. Oh! Mm. I don't know what that did. No. Nah. Lead to 4-7. No, nah, that, that left the pattern a little funky. Yeah, it really did. It, 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 it. Right. Yeah, seven is starting off good, trying to force, trying to force a game seven. Carolina Swag looking a little, uh, little, 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 little intimidated right now. You know? The nerves got to be setting in just a hair. Even though, even though anyone, it's anyone's ball game in a game seven, you still feel the, the nerves of having had such a big lead and right. not been able to close it out. So... Yeah, it gets heartbreaking. Like, I mean, if they get if this scales to seven, you got to say Savage is going to win. Like, just because it's like, it's a huge letdown. Can't they bring the camera from that one over here? So we get Strike in the sixth frame. Another strike in the sixth frame for Daphne. Jerry, you want a pair to loosen up? Twenty-six pin lead. I'm gonna give you shit because what you said in the match was this way. You told Pistol Sims that he said, "No, you don't win. What are you gonna win?" That was unbiased. That was unbiased. You gotta be unbiased. You know how that wasn't how it was intended. I understand that. How you said it? That's how it was perceived. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because like. 
everybody above us loved it. They were like, they're like, you're allowed to pick who you want. And I said, well, so I get it. I said, but I wasn't, that wasn't the case. You know? Of course. A lot but, of it, a lot of it came down. Yeah. You know how it comes down. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was funny to me that the, 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 the interesting part and all that was the fact that you yeah. make a big deal about respect, respect, respect. He loses the juice and he quits the juice. And then now he ain't gonna say what I'm So it's not like, Five second rule. Dirt, 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 Give it to the kid. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's fucked up. You better tell him at least. Fuck that. You better tell him at least. That's foul, bro. Yeah, you are. I know you would. And I will never get you hot dog soup again. Margaritas. She's still missing a five pin, or is it dead? Is that the place of Salisbury? Pardon me, folks. Yeah, because I know right. I love her matches being there because it's still always. Oh, this one looks like it's going to go through the nose. Oh. Just made it over to the Jersey side. She got very lucky to do a strike there. I mean, this is getting sick. So, you know. All right, she lives up in the eighth frame. Mm, oh, we're gonna hit the light, leaves the bucket. Ah, a very good frame. This game looks like it's about to get out of hand early, and the savages are gonna force a game seven. Wow. Wow. And I was just like, look, it wasn't an intentional thing. Wow. I got again, but Carolina Swag pulled out to a 3-1 lead, but they do not look like they're going to be able to hold on to it. It's a bad Daphne so steps I, up in the eighth. Daphne steps up in the eighth. I mean, I'll, I'll uh, trying still, to clean up this know, mess. Uh oh, and it looks pretty good. And she, no. oh, it's at 10, she did everything but oh, make it. Time. She put it in the perfect spot. Got it over there. Almost made it. All right, they still have a commanding. They have a commanding 40 pin lead. Commanding 40 pin lead. Going into the ninth frame. Come on. I hire I gotta be responsible for I'll be I'll be available if the deep south split the way I think it'll split. Oh, solid 10 pin. Solid 10 pin for Daphne Smith. I think Atlanta and Upstate will be one, and I think like Augusta, Columbia, Savannah will be a different one. So I think that's how it work out. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this game is all but mathematically it, but I mean, over. I, I get it. Your, what it was 17, 44, yeah, well, it used to be. They were Carolina Swag could possibly strike out. Yeah, damn it, I want to say so. I got to answer to it. You know what I mean? 
definitely easily makes this 10 pin. They have 184, 94. Yeah. All, 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 all the savages have to do is keep the ball on the lane, and they'll be forced in a game seven. The comeback is almost complete. 6-6. Six, six. One game, one game, one game to decide it all. One game to decide who will be the first Southeast Vixens Tag Team Champions. Carolina Swag and the Savages for all the marbles. It is coming down to this. Tenth frame is just a formality right now, ladies and gentlemen. This game is decided. This game has been decided and... It's one game to decide it all. Savages, Carolina Swag. Carolina Swag, Savages, it is all over. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. For all the marbles, Carolina swag, the savages. One game to decide the Southeast Vixen Tag Team Champion. Carolina swag starting things off. Roxy's a little high, leaves a four pin. That's why I make the big bucks. <laughs> mm. Roxy goes a little high with her first ball. 
Leaves a four pin. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is not how they wanted to start game seven after having a 3-1 lead and allowing the Savages to come back to force a game seven. That is not how she wanted to start game seven by flagging a four pin, a relatively easy spare for a right-hander. That is not how she wanted to start this. Okay. And, well, and yeah, you know what? So just, this, this just is like good bowlers, just like good bowlers and two champions do, she definitely makes her pay. She flagged the four pin in the first frame. Daphne comes back and starts the game out with a strike. Yeah, I mean, we're right in the, it, just like we talked about earlier with Daphne, you know, in the game seven, uh, in her Vixen series, her single series. It's the same thing, you know. That's when the cream rises, and you saw her first ball, beautiful strike. Okay. Oh, Let's see if she follows oh, that up. A little, oh, oh, even when she misses, she compensates because she got that one in a little bit, but she got that one in a little bit, but kept the speed up on it. It held, went into the pocket, high flush. So I would just start out with a double and an early 11 pin, well, early 21 pin lead. Okay, she bounces back. Roxy bounces back, throws an excellent ball to strike. Yeah, they I, they can't miss again. You know, it, it's it's early, but I said that might have been enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it could be. You know, the the best part if you're gonna open and do it in the first frame, but it, it's your least amount of damage. But they it, they can't do it again because you know th this is oh she almost got it to go. This is Daphne's last uh, game, uh, the weekend for her. So she's gonna bowl as many frames as she can here to. Get her team over the top. And Roxy and Sheena, they just got to remember what got them here, you know. Make the right tags, make the right decisions, make the shots. You know, they can't they can't miss 10 pins again. They can't be can't be thrown in the gutter. They, they uh -oh, got to uh -oh, hear this uh -oh, one. Ooh, ooh okay. okay. I thought that was going to go in the gutter, too. I, I was about to say, damn, Roxy, that's not a 10 pin. You yeah. know, but, but it came back. She got it, so we're, we're good there. Yeah, she held, it held on. But if it was a 10 pin, she'd have flagged it. Yeah. <laughs> Then again, she might not have thrown that ball. Right. That, that didn't look like it was a plastic ball. That ball actually hooked back to the pin. All right. Daphne's up in the third frame. And this is one of those situations where I was saying also, like now, if Daphne is hot, she looks, ooh, and it looks like she is. Oh, that ball, oh, that ball, did she do that a little slow? Yikes. I want to see her speed on that. Yeah, that was 13.75. She took something off of that. Yeah, that looked like she threw that a little slow. But what I was what I was gonna say, like, had Daphne struck there, I might very well have Daphne throw the first six or seven frames. Yeah. Right. So that you you can make that work. Well, I'm, I'm tag I'm, the eight. Yeah. Back to Daphne for nine. Yeah. Megan throw the first. Megan first, throw the first, first, first ball, part of the, the ten. Just no, just throw the just first, first ball of the ten. ten. And then Daphne spare striking the ten. You know that's. Yeah. So you can. You can, you can win a lot of games like that, if you, especially if you have a dominating bowler in the tag team. You can win a yeah. lot of games like that if, if that person is on and they're striking a lot. Yeah. You know? And the other bowl is not splitting and opening. Yeah. You know? And then sometimes, you know, you can do that and the other team just be on fire and they're just striking a ton. So yeah. and a you know, lot of different things happen. Yeah, you know how it is for you, you walk in a bowling center or at a tournament, and you see a big name person show up, mm -hmm. and there's always oh, that's this beautiful. Look. That is beautiful. That's a very great shot there from Daphne. There's always this like bit of a but, but a only wow. With, but, with, sorry, yeah. but with the open, only a six pin lead. Yeah. Only a six pin lead, especially if Roxy can can can, can keep striking, can strike here, and put a couple more together. Because yeah. this is only the fourth frame, and like I said, if I was them. With Roxy being the stronger bowler, I would have her throw the first six or seven frames. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would, you know. Yep. Yeah, because she got a, re a reprieve, you know. Yes. Uh, well, she with, definitely with got a reprieve open. with yep. Daphne throwing that split. Yeah. She definitely got a reprieve from her first frame open. 
but it also just goes to show you and remind you how important spares are, especially, especially yeah. the easiest of spares. Like she ran, she you know she ran by a four pin, yep. which for a right-handed bowler is one of the more easiest spares. Oh, goes jersey, she got oh. it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Roxy, yeah. she Roxy turned her got. Back, she turned her back on that out of frustration, but. Yeah. It, it got it got it got to the Jersey side and she got lucky. Yeah, she got the outcome and, she needed. That's right, all that matters. And right now, and right now is a six pin lead. Yeah. She did her job to keep it at six. Yep. Oh. Go. Hey. Oh yes. no. Solid ten pin. Oh. Solid ten pin. These ladies. So, something else I, I didn't get to mention earlier. So, when we had the, the final eight in February, three of the four matches in that final eight went to game seven. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Went, nice. went to game seven. Um, the, the fact uh, the team that C-Swag beat yesterday, uh, Carolina Rollers, they were actually the only team to win. They've knocked off the number one seed in five. Okay. You know, everybody else went to game seven. Mm. So these the the Vixens Cap Series is going to be great. It's going to mm. hopefully uh, work its way to the north. Hopefully it'll help see these ladies bowling. Will will because uh, because I'll be let's be honest, the ladies don't always get on the floor for a lot of the tour stops. You know they're around yeah. for the events and things like that. You know when when we're putting spots where you have to have like an unholy where you mm -hmm. have to have a female and all that kind of stuff. And this is giving the ladies a platform. And I'm thankful for Bowl TV for for being. Let us showcase that. Oh, another Ooh. ten pin, man! Wow, this match just got interesting. Just got interesting because Carolina Swag on the strength of a double mm -hmm. and two ten pins that Daphne Smith just left are actually in the lead now. Yeah. Well, let's even see. if they don't strike. Yeah, this a strike would a strike would give them a four pin lead. Anything less would give them a, a you know a, a eight pin lead or less. Yeah. But, but either way, either way, they they put themselves in a position to be yeah. in the lead. Well, they didn't do it. Um, them two ten pins did it. Yeah. But Daphne. But they still. But here's the other kicker. Neither of the second bowlers have thrown a ball yet. And yeah. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what's we don't know what's going to happen when the other young ladies touches the ball. So, yeah, if one of them can step up, if one of them can step up, yeah. and it's funny, it's coming to fruition. Yeah, they're both going to throw the front seven frame. You know mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah. Now, not for nothing. If I was Daphne, I might let I might let her throw the seven. Yeah, let, I might let her teammate throw the seven only well, because. Depending on what happens here, mm. yeah, and then they are, and they are okay, and I am correct. Yeah, get get it in. Hope that worst case scenario makes it because, because you want because Daphne has to throw the last ball. Yeah, but you don't want her to. You don't want you don't want Megan to throw the first ball in the tent. Right. You want Daphne to, to have, be able in a position to throw three in the tent. Yeah, yeah. If you can get that, that's going to be the that's going to be the thing. Get, so if you, you can strike out of Megan here. You know, yeah, it's sitting it, pretty. Yeah, because I mean, honestly, it's, you're hoping that. Oh, she got that out. She got that out too. So, oh, yeah, she got oh, that. Oh, oh, okay. Looked, like off her hand, it looked okay. good because a lot of her balls were were, were were in more. Yeah, they were they were in a lot more and not getting. They were either going jersey or mm -hmm. going through the face. She got that. She got that off her hand. It just off her hand and just from recognizing her ball reaction over yeah. seven games. Yeah. It just felt like it was going to get to the pocket. And it got there light. And, oh, man, now we have a match. 139. Oh, man, yeah. Carolina Swag does have a 25-pin lead. But, but you know, the second bowler hasn't gone yet. Yeah. Oh, if that holds. Oh, if that holds. Oh, that's okay. a beautiful shot. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah, when you, the fact that they were able to get Megan in. But, Yes. And get a strike. That's huge. Let's now let's just hope. Yeah. Let's just hope. Sheila has it. This is her first ball of the match. Yeah. This is her first ball of the match. So if she can shake off whatever little nerves she may have and whatever rust 
what you got sitting there. At worst, make, leave yourself a make the spare. Oh, she got that out too. That's coming back. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I said she got that out. She got that out. That was tough. That was tough. All right. Yep. And and, and just to mirror what the savages did, Sheena's back out. Roxy's back in. Yeah. Well, they have to now because yeah. she she bowled the first seven frames. Yep. She bowled the first seven frames. Yeah, that's so, right. So they she has to eight eight nine ten ten. Yeah, so the good part about the Savages, though, they, they say we're able to set themselves up to where Daphne can throw the ball, first ball in the ninth, if she needed to, and then let, uh, or she could strike in the ninth, and then let Megan throw the first ball in the tenth, and then come in and, and, and finish and the tenth. Well, it yeah. really, it may, it might be all for naught. If she can, oh, oh man. It, it, it might be all for nothing. Yeah. It might be all for nothing. Yeah, it might it might come back to that, uh, what'd she leave her, the 4 7 10 or 6 7 10? That she loved earlier. It might be all for nothing because yep. this is this is the shot. This is the shot here because they have developed a see, commanding 35 pin lead. Yeah. And see, I, I would have, um, if been me, I would have brought Daphne in. No, I got you. No, that's a little too tight. That's Go Jersey. Brooklyn. Oh! oh wow! Okay. So, so and, and, and listen, it worked out. It, yeah. It, yeah, now Daphne's gonna Daphne shoots in the ten. Yeah. So, well, so actually, you know what? Yeah. So Megan did. She she threw her two balls. She struck. So it puts yeah, it puts she, the, she the team pressure back on Daphne. No, and it's and it's funny because she struck her two balls, and the two balls that are gonna cost in the match are gonna be the two ten pins. Yeah. I mean, that split notwithstanding in the third frame. Um, that was just, uh, she threw it a little slow and it, it ran on her. It ran uh, through the nose on her. Yep. Wow. Daphne stones a nine pin. Oh man, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot, she can only finish with 213. She can only finish with 213. All Carolina Swag has to do is keep it on the lane. All they have to do is keep it on the lane to be the world tag team. Vixens champions, wow. Oh, I'm sorry, the Southeast, the very first Southeast champions. Yeah, this one looks good. She buries that one. She buries that one to finish 213. Solid 10 pin, 98, oh yeah, and it's all over. It's all over. Carolina swag. Carolina swag and pulled it out. Yeah, wow. that's, that's amazing. Yes, after going up 3-1 and allowing the Savages to come back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, and it stayed up. Look and at it that. stayed up. So definitely, congratulations to Carolina Swag, Ooh, Roxy, and Sheena. Listen, that and then listen when you're when you're down three one, <laughs> and the team comes back, it is a rare occasion that you can do what you need to do yeah. for Game Seven without you know without losing your momentum and losing and, and it, your mojo. And, yeah, and it's and, not it's not just bowling. That's if you go back to World Series, well, that's, uh, that's, any any sport, it's yes. like that. You know, you three one. You're, you're gonna win. You're not gonna. You, you've got three chances to win one, and you know they sh they were supposed to blow it when they came to Game Seven. Savages were supposed to win, 
But congratulations to Carolina Swag. They got the win. They are our first Vixens cap tag team champions. And I couldn't be happier for them. Yep. That's fantastic. So, um, All right. So we're going to get started. The, the world title match is starting their practice. We're going to get uh, things situated and moved. And we'll be picking right back up uh, momentarily. We'll be right back with you. We'll be right back with you. Right back with you, Bolt TV. Oh.